First off, I want to thank the Flat Earth Pirate for bringing this music video to my attention by Fergie. It's called MILF. MILF is a reference, originally, basically, Mothers I Would Like to F. Sorry to be blunt, but this is what it's all about. But they changed it to Mothers I Like to Follow. So again, it's about Freemasonry and duality. Also, MILF Man. You get to your MM for 33. It's all about Freemasonry. Once again, just like so many fictitious names in Hollywood in the music industry, you'll get the MM for 33. When you turn the 2M sideways, just like Marty McFly, you get Michael Myers, Mad Max, Marilyn Monroe, Marilyn Manson, Mickey Mouse, Mork and Mindy. The list goes on and on and on with these fictitious names. And what needs to be understood is these singers, these so-called artists, they're just given these lyrics to these songs, these concepts for these music videos. They're given to them. Just like actors in Hollywood, there's no difference. The people behind the scenes, they look for talent. What you see, just for example, with Fergie, they shape and form it to what you see on TV. Now with this music video, again, there's a lot of occult hidden in plain sight. A lot of men will be watching this video. They're not going to be focusing on that. They're going to be distracted by all the females in this video. First off, let's take a look at Kim Kardashian and the boots she's wearing. Again, it's always about the occult hidden in plain sight. It's the as above, so below. It's like a, like a serpent or devil's tail on both ends. And this is, again, all about the occult. I'm going to make a lot of connections during this video. I'm not just going to focus on this music video itself. There's going to be a lot of connections made so people understand those that run the music industry in Hollywood are all about the occult. Let's, first off, let's take a look when it comes to Hollywood in the Hot Tub Time Machine 2. Again, you're going to see a reference to As Above, So Below. This is all about Baphomet, the Satanic Masonic Goat God. You see the As Above, So Below. This is a reference as in heaven, as on earth. Now understand, again, this Masonic Goat God, Baphomet, this is an androgynous being. Part male, part female, part goat as well. Understand, again, when it comes to as above, so below, what this all refers to when you see the right hand up and the left hand down. It's all from the Bible. The Satanists know the Bible inside and out. And this is what it's all about. This is how they devise this go God. Taking a look at Matthew 25 from the Bible, where it states how Jesus will separate the sheep from the goats. and He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on the left. So again, when you look at Balfamet, Sheep go to heaven, the goats go to hell. So you understand the concept of the satanic Bible with the goat's head on the cover within the pentagram. Taking a look here at some more images. Now, the connection to Hollywood, the music industry, and the goat called Balfamet again. Look here at Kanye West with the goat. Understand what's taking place here. Again, Balfamet being an androgynous being, taking a look once again female breast. Now, again, understand why he's wearing a dress. Because Balfamet is an androgynous being, as I stated earlier. Now, taking a closer look again at Kanye West, and you'll see the sign of Balfamet once again in the upside-down pentagram, which is huge in Satanism. Taking a look here at Rihanna in this hideous haircut. Looks just like a goat. And this is what it's about. This is a goat haircut. More sellouts. I'm not saying, one thing I, I want to point out, I'm not saying just because you're in Hollywood or you're in the music industry, that means you're a Satanist, but you're definitely a sellout to the Satanists that run, again, Hollywood in the music industry. You're a sellout. Maybe some of these people are, you know, hardcore Satanists. Cannot confirm that, but definitely the signs and the symbols will tell you, just like this with Taylor Momsen. Here you go with Again, another celebrity, the goat, sort of the goat haircut as well. Definitely the goat on the shirt. Taking a look at LL Cool J in the return of the goat. Now, one thing to mention about LL Cool J, of course, this is not his real name. The people behind the scenes, they're the ones that devise these names. LL, let's take a look again here. As I showed many times before, this numerology chart, understand, Pythagorean numerology, LL is 33. This is the devil's number. Understand what's taking place here. Take a look here at Beyonce. 
again you'll see basically the symbol of the goat or Baphomet. More images here, Justin Timberlake. See the Baphomet as well. They love the name. People behind the scenes love that name Timberlake. Timber reference to trees and they're all about tree worship. They worship the created and not the creator. That's what Satanism is all about. Now understand going back in time, taking a look at the Beach Boys, this Baphomet goat symbolism is nothing new. Take a look at the Beach Boys. You wonder why they have all these goats around them. Again, it's all about Satanism and the goat god Baphomet. Even in Hollywood, with this movie, the men that who stare at goats, again, the symbol of goats, and you see the all-seeing eye with the Illuminati pyramid. So understand what's taking place. No goats, no glory. Give me a break. Now, taking a look here, again, going back in time, the very famous actor in Hollywood and singer, see here, Sammy Davis Jr. doing the sign of Baphomet. And people say, oh, give me a break. This isn't Baphomet. This guy's not a Satanist. Take a look here. Okay? Here he is with Anton LaVey, the founder of the Satanic Church. Michael Aquino as well. Temple of Set. This is from San Carlos, California. This is right before a ritual where Sammy Davis Jr. became a warlock in the Church of Satan. Now, taking a look at another puppet in the game. Very famous puppet. Michael Jackson, of course, and you'll see the as above, so below. Sean Puffy Combs, same thing, just a different version of the same as above, so below. There's another version going back to the 80s with Billy Idol, with eyes without a face. You have the as above, so below, and you have the mirror reflection, just like this image here, with Lupe Fiasco, a very clever way of getting as above, so below, with the mirror image, and also covering the right eye to get the reflection of the one eye symbolism. Jack Nicholson, again, the as above, so below. So you understand what's taking place here. Even when it comes to the matrix, this is a mirror reflection. And you see the as above, so below. Also, the Illuminati hand sign, all the same. Take a look at this movie, as above, so below. I'm going to explain something. I'm going to get into this. It's all going to add up to Fergie's video. Get on back on track with that music video. But I need to connect it out so people understand what's taking place here. So they get the full picture. They get all the pieces of the puzzle put together. So there's no confusion of what's taking place when I get back to her music video in symbolism. So all the dots are connected. You see the cult of the swirl. Just like you see here with Anton LaVey of the Satanic Church. The founder and Peter Gilmore the current high priest of the Satanic Church. And you'll see right above the door, the swirl symbolism. It's like I made a video on before, the occult of the spiral swirl. Get a closer look here, and you'll see what's taking place now. Before I go any further, I want to show this image here. I'll get back to the swirl with Fergie's video. Let's take a look at this top right here from the music video, and you'll see the upside down pentagram, of course, all about Satanism. You can look here. Of course, on the Satanic Bible, as I shown earlier, there you go. It's all about the occult. You can look here at Baphomet, a statue. This is going to be prepared for Oklahoma City. And you see, again, the upside down pentagram. And you'll see the Pentagon in the center. Understand, this world is run by Satanists, believe it or not. Taking a look here at Washington, D.C., and you'd see the Pentagon, just like the center, again, of the upside-down pentagram. Take a look how it fits in the center. Just another visual. Now, understand, Satan's number is the number nine. Get it right here, okay? Now, the concept, when it comes to Fergie's video, every little aspect, there is a reason. Let's take a look at this door here. As she's opening it, you'll see the 315. The numerology, the zero doesn't mean anything. You get three, one, and a five, you get the number nine. So the concept for this, for the number on the door, it's all coded for the number nine again. Satan's number. Just another image here. The satanic Bible, the satanic nine statements. Now understand, again, when I talk about how this world is run by Satanists, let's just take a close look at Barack Obama and George Bush, both doing the same exact 
double horn sign. They're all about hand signs, signs, symbols, numbers, and colors. Understand, these two are related. You might think this is just a conspiracy theory. We'll forget Barack Obama's mom is white. Her name was Ann Dunham, of course. For those that know, in the state's New York Post, how their cousins, Dick Cheney as well. This is the bloodline. Also here from the New York Times, talking about how they are related. Now, let's take a look at this image. Here's George Bush. Here's Obama. Look at the similarities. Look at that chin. These chins are almost identical. Here's the morph image. Look at those foreheads. Look at the ears. Look at those eyes. Look at the how kind of droops down here. The eyebrows. How they look the same is amazing. And people don't even realize it. Again, these two, one and the same. One plays a Republican on TV. One plays a Democrat, liberal. But they're all the same, working together. Understand how the Matrix works. Again, with these puppets. Let's take again a look at the music video, Fergie's music video here, and you'll see the symbolism again. They're all about, like I said, numbers, signs, symbols, colors. You get the red and the blue. This is all about Satanism. Take a look here at the queen. You'll see the red and blue symbols. This is done by design. It's not just by coincidence. And you'll see the Masonic sign, the compass, and the square. You see the pentagram. Taking a look here at the connection with Satanism in the red and the blue. Understand DC, basically the District of Columbia. Columbia is a Masonic God. So every aspect of our society is controlled. Even comic books, movies, TV, every single aspect they control. And you get the blue devil and the son of Satan. So you see the red and blue. Again, you understand what's taking place. Now, taking a look here. Again, another puppet going back in time. T-Rex, you get the red and blue symbolism. For those that know Red and blue equals purple. And this is about the occult of royalty again, the bloodline. Take a look here again. This, basically this witch's wardrobe, this robe. And you'll see the occultic pentagram on the back. See the moon symbolism. Now again, purple, all about witchcraft and Satanism. Take a look here at Prince and the concept of purple rain. Going back in time with Jimi Hendrix, Purple Haze. You just take a look at his sunglasses again with the satanic swirl. As I showed previously, and you'll see it right here again. So you understand the concepts of these so-called celebrities are given to them. Now, getting back again to the music video. Right, showing a lot of occult symbolism. It's all going to connect when you get to the very end. Let's take a look at the classroom scene from again. Fergie's video, and again, all about the occult, and you'll see the swirl symbolism. Again, a reference to Satanism, which you see here. Why do they do this swirl symbolism? Just like Wizard of Oz, the yellow brick road and the swirl. Because the, these, again, the Satanists that devise these concepts, they know the Bible inside and out, and they do the exact opposite. And this is also Freemasonry, the world of opposites. It states here in Proverbs 3.6, in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. So, again, let's go the narrow, straight path. Satanists do the exact opposite, again, with the swirl. That's their road. They don't go down the straight path. Now, again, taking a look here at the music video, and again, more symbolism when you see the checkerboard. Okay, now let's take a look here. And you see the globe symbolism, two different spots, and again, you'll see the swirl. That's what I'm talking about. Everything they do, there is a reason. It's not just by by chance, by coincidence. Let's take a look here as well. See here, you see the MM again for 33, like I mentioned in the very beginning of the video. Take a look here. Move along and you'll see pyramid symbolism. Again, there's your swirl. She's wearing the black and white for masonry, as i shown here, with the checkerboard floor, all about Freemasonry. Take a look here. I find this very interesting. Again, everything they do, there's a reason. It's not by chance, not by coincidence. The swirl, pyramid, and look at the clock. Take a look at this, and you'll see it says 9-11 with a satanic swirl. 
people might be wondering why I showed so much off topic, which might seem off topic and not relating to the music video. The whole purpose is so people could connect the dots of the Matrix and see all those behind Hollywood and the music industry. They're all about the occult. So it's not just a coincidence this is occurring. Let's get another close up of this clock. Understand it's the ninth hour. And again, the hand is pointing at 11. So you get the 9 11. There's many ways they do this. It's not just the only way. Going back in time, trading places back in 1983. Just another version, another way to get 9 11. With the hand pointing right at 9 and 11. Again, just different ways of getting the same thing. Another version was Superman 2. Going back, way back to 1980. And again, the time is 9-11. It's not by chance, not by coincidence. Now, the connection with Superman, again, with the 9-11, Superman 2. And you'll see the Twin Towers. And you see the fire in the back background. Let's get a closer look. You see the flames. This is foreshadowing what's to come. These people, again, in Hollywood, in the music industry, they are Freemasons. They are in the know. Another example, you take a look at Gremlins, and you see the radio dial. The red is in between the 9 and 11. That's just one. Now, Sapphire, as many people know, the Sapphire Stone is the September Stone. And you get the Roman numeral 11. So you get 9, 11 twice here. Now, again, just like I showed, with Superman 2 and the Twin Towers, Gremlins 2, you'll see right here with the Twin Towers as well. Very interesting how they work. Just like Terminator 2. Get the caution 9-11. Now, getting back to, should get back to Gremlins here. You see the Sapphire again. So one thing I forgot to mention, which I'll mention now, is Sapphire 9-11. Also, Sapphire just so happens to be 33 in numerology, Chaldean numerology. So this is very interesting how they Basically combine 33 and 9-11 into one. All Masonic numbers. And people need to understand when it comes to 9-11, where it states in the Bible, where the Antichrist from the bottomless pit, his name will be Apollyon. And this again is Revelation 9-11. So this is why 9-11 is such an occultic number. And also, of course, why they call the supposed moon landing with the Apollo 11. Again, it's a it's a reference to 9-11 in the Bible, where the Antichrist is named as Apollyon, which is Apollo, which is the same thing. Now, understand what's taking place here in all these connections. Take a look here at the Simpsons episode. Many people have seen this from 1997. You see on this magazine the 9 and the, t and the Twin Towers, which basically represents 211. So you get 9-11. It's funny how they show the money. This is what 9-11 is about. It's about many things. Passing laws. Ritual about money, many, many things. Now, interesting enough, understand what's taking place here with 9-11. The Twin Towers came down after 33 years, like I mentioned so many times. Towers were first, construction first started in 1968. They came down in 2001, of course, that is 33 years. Now, another interesting fact is the 9-11 emergency calling system went nationwide in 1968 as well. So you have another connection with 9-11 in the Twin Towers. And the Bible verse itself, again, Revelation 9-11. Now, talking about the occultic numbers of 9-11 and 33, once again, take a look at Bart Simpson, of course. The last name Simpson, just like O.J. Simpson, it's all about the occult of 33, with Simpson being 33. This is how they devise these names. They don't pick them out of thin air, these occultists behind the scenes. If you think that's just a coincidence, Let's take a look here at this 33 cent store. You got Simpson 33, you got the 33 cent store. How that all comes together. These occultists behind the scenes, they think they're very clever, and they are. They have a lot of people fooled that don't understand the occult. Now, again, with predictive programming with 9 11 back in 1997, let's take a look again at another episode from The Simpsons from 1997. You have the Ebola book, Curious George, and the Ebola virus. Very interesting fact that, again, talking about 33, the supposed four American victims. What are the chances of this? All four 33 years old. It tells you this is their hoax code. They're behind it. When the Bible states Satan is the father of all lies, 
you're getting the point here. This matrix that we're living in. It's not by chance, not by coincidence. Now, again, talking about gremlins, let's take a look here. Once again, when it comes to symbolism, they love to use microphones, as I showed in previous videos. When it comes to hoaxes, here's your 9-11 with Gremlins 2. So, again, when it comes to Gremlins 2, the Twin Towers, you have the first Gremlins here, Sapphire 9-11, and then again, you have the 9-11 all over the place. Give me a break how people can't see what's taking place. They call it so-called conspiracy theorists nuts. We're not crazy. It's just we live in a crazy world. Now, getting back to the music video once again, taking a look here, and you'll see, again, everything they do, there's a reason. You'll see the Masonic black and white. Once again, the same black and white symbolism, all about masonry. Now, interesting here, what's taking place is with this one female, and you'll see her. All these guys are focusing on her drinking the milk. The all-seeing eye symbolism. And you'll see two donuts, more like two Dunkin' Donuts. And you'll see what this is all about. It's all about the cult of Mickey Mouse in 33. People don't understand. Why does Mickey Mouse have these rounded ears when mice do not have rounded ears? There's a reason. See, the occult of 33. Walt Disney was a 33rd degree Freemason. As you can see here, closer look. Club 33. There's a reason, again, for those rounded ears. And here you go. Can fit the number three between the ears. This is how clever they are. And again, you turn the Mickey Mouse sideways, the MM, you get your 33. So again, when I talk about MILF milk, you get your MM for 33 as well. They think they're clever. So again, here's your, you know, again with Fergie with the milk. This is symbolism, of course, with the milk being poured on her. Slippery when wet. Now, the occult of yellow and black. Again, like I stated, they're all about signs, symbols, dates, and colors. Take a look here. Yellow and black. Black represents death. Use that for death. And yellow is basically the livery. You can see here as well. The combined colors are the livery. Yellow and black. Just like see here as well. So again, colors, what they're all about. You see the satanic bucks. The yellow and black. Take a look at striper. Don't believe for a second this is a Christian group. They look like they're Christians to you. Nothing more than sellouts. They already have the mainstream already pulled into the music industry. Now they get the Christians pulled in with deception. You see the swirl here. Basically, it looks like the number nine as well. Always with the symbolisms, colors, like I said, and the hidden numbers, the number nine for Satan, right in plain sight. You see this? You have no understanding. Take a look here. As again with Balfamet. The as above, so below. Symbolism with the cross. States in the Bible do not have any engraved images. Do not wear a cross. This is what they do. It's all about mockery. More yellow and black symbolism in society with pyro city and the yellow and black for the black cat with fireworks. Now, an interesting thing when it comes to professional wrestling with Dusty Rhodes. And understand, Vince McMahon, like everybody, you know, that's on top of this world, just like I said it many times, Vince McMahon and Donald Trump are good friends. These are all Masons. They're all billionaires. They're all occultists. If you make it top of this world, you must be one of them. You see the yellow and black symbolism once again. Now, again, with Sapphire, the name they re the reason they devise this name for her, Dusty, Dusty Rhodes' manager, is because once again, Sapphire is 33. These are all occultists, all of them. Now, again, people wonder why. The WWE logo doesn't have an E in it. It's because when you turn it sideways, again, you get the 33. Just like Willy Wonka, Wonder Woman, and so on. It's all about the occult of 33. Now, again, the yellow and black. See here, Fergie, with the yellow and black and duality. The black stars, the yellow stars. All about Freemasonry. Understand what's taking place again. It comes to the music industry. It's all about getting into the subconscious. The signs and symbols. Look at the hands. It's the yellow and black again. Yellow and black and the devil horns. Nothing more than a sellout. Again, I'm not saying she's a Satanist. Is she a sellout to those behind the scenes that are Satanists? 100%. Now, I find this very interesting to end the video to conclude. This quote from her. 
the devil comes and soon my subconscious and conscious might start to brawl as this cunning demon takes me as its voodoo doll. So you understand she even basically states here how your subconscious and conscious mind might start to brawl. This is what it's about getting into the subconscious mind. People don't realize what's taking place. Your subconscious controls your conscious mind and that's what people don't realize. This is what's taking place here in this world with Hollywood and music. The music industry is all about getting into your subconscious, turning you away from God. This is what it's about. So basically corrupting the youth and turning the youth into atheists, into believers, into the satanic system, the satanic lie of evolution. There's no God in this godless world. This is exactly what's taking place. This is why the Satanists have taken a stranglehold all over society. Because once you control the media, you control the minds. And again, that's why they control every aspect of our society, from the news, politicians, cartoons, movies, the music industry, Hollywood, every aspect of our society are controlled by these Satanists behind the scenes.